Hello, and welcome back to the GCP Mindset Channel. In the realm of clinical research, safeguarding the well-being of study participants and ensuring the integrity of data are paramount concerns. This is where good clinical practice comes into play, serving as a globally recognized set of guidelines that establish ethical and scientific standards for conducting clinical trials involving human subjects. Developed by the International Council for Harmonization, these GCP guidelines have become a universal benchmark, fostering consistency, transparency, and accountability across the clinical research landscape. Welcome to the GCP Mindset channel and all topics on clinical research. The origins of GCP can be traced back to the aftermath of World War II and the Nuremberg trials. In response to these ethical transgressions, the Nuremberg Code was formulated, laying the groundwork for the ethical principles that would later shape GCP. Subsequently, the Declaration of Helsinki further solidified the moral foundations of human research, emphasizing the primacy of participant safety and well-being. However, as clinical research expanded globally, the need for harmonized standards became increasingly apparent. Each country had its own guidelines, leading to potential inconsistencies and challenges in data acceptance by regulatory authorities. To address this issue, the International Conference on Harmonization was established in 1990, bringing together regulatory authorities and pharmaceutical industry representatives from the European Union, United States, Canada, Australia, Japan, and Switzerland. The ICH's pivotal contribution was the development of the ICH GCP guidelines, which were first published in 1996 as ICH GCP Revision 1. These guidelines aim to provide a unified standard for conducting clinical trials, ensuring mutual acceptance of trial data by regulatory authorities across participating countries. In 2016, the guidelines underwent a significant update with the release of ICH GCP Revision 2 reflecting the evolving landscape of clinical research and incorporating new approaches to enhance efficiency and innovation. At the heart of GCP lie 13 core principles that serve as the ethical and scientific pillars of clinical research. These principles encompass a wide range of considerations, including the protection of human rights, the prioritization of participant safety and well-being, the importance of scientifically sound protocols, and the need for reliable and robust data. One of the key principles is the requirement for informed consent, which ensures that participants are fully informed about the risks, benefits, and procedures involved in the study, and that their participation is entirely voluntary. Additionally, GCP emphasizes the importance of minimizing risks to participants, with provisions for continuous monitoring and prompt reporting of adverse events. From a scientific perspective, GCP mandates the use of well-designed protocols that adhere to established methodological standards, ensuring the validity and reliability of the data generated. It also requires that clinical trials be conducted by qualified and trained personnel, following rigorous procedures for data collection, handling, and analysis. Let us have a look at roles and responsibilities. GCP guidelines extend their reach to all parties involved in clinical research, including sponsors, investigators, ethics committees, regulatory authorities, and contract research organizations. Each entity plays a crucial role in upholding the principles of GCP, with clearly defined responsibilities and obligations. Sponsors, who initiate and oversee clinical studies, bear the primary responsibility for ensuring compliance with GCP guidelines. This includes securing appropriate regulatory approvals, selecting qualified investigators, providing adequate resources and training, and monitoring the conduct of the trial throughout its life cycle. Investigators, typically physicians or researchers directly involved in the clinical study, are responsible for ensuring that the trial is conducted in accordance with the approved protocol, obtaining informed consent from participants, and maintaining accurate and complete records. Ethics committees and institutional review boards play a vital role in safeguarding the rights and well-being of study participants. They review and approve study protocols, ensuring that they meet ethical standards and that potential risks are minimized. Regulatory authorities, such as the Food and Drug Administration in the United States and the European Medicines Agency in the European Union, are responsible for overseeing clinical trials 
and ensuring compliance with GCP guidelines within their respective jurisdictions. Contract research organizations are often engaged by sponsors to provide specialized services related to the conduct of clinical trials. These organizations must adhere to GCP guidelines and follow the sponsor's instructions while maintaining high standards of quality and integrity. Let us go on with the legal landscape, regulatory frameworks, and compliance. In many regions, compliance with GCP guidelines is not merely a recommendation, but a legal requirement. For instance, in the European Union, the Clinical Trials Directive 2001-20 AEC made adherence to GCP a mandatory requirement for all clinical trials involving medicinal products. Similarly, in the United States, the FDA's Regulations for the Protection of Human Subjects, 21 CFR Part 50, and the Obligations of Clinical Investigators, 21 CFR Part 312, are closely aligned with the principles of GCP. Failure to comply with GCP guidelines can have severe consequences, including the rejection of clinical trial data by regulatory authorities, potential legal liabilities, and damage to the reputation of the organizations involved. As the field of clinical research continues to evolve, the ICH GCP guidelines are also undergoing periodic revisions to keep pace with emerging trends and best practices. The upcoming ICH GCP Revision 3, anticipated in the near future, is expected to introduce innovative processes and more efficient approaches, reflecting the industry's commitment to continuous improvement. One area of focus is the incorporation of digital technologies and electronic data capture systems, which can streamline data collection, reduce errors, and enhance the overall quality and integrity of clinical trial data. Additionally, there is an emphasis on risk-based monitoring strategies, which allow for more targeted and efficient oversight of clinical trials, while maintaining high standards of participant safety and data quality. One of the key objectives of the ICH GCP guidelines is to facilitate the harmonization of clinical research practices across different regions and countries. By establishing a common set of standards, the guidelines promote the mutual acceptance of clinical trial data by regulatory authorities, reducing the need for duplicative studies and enabling more efficient drug development processes. This harmonization not only benefits pharmaceutical companies and research organizations, but also has far-reaching implications for public health. It facilitates the timely availability of new therapies and treatments to patients worldwide, while ensuring that these interventions have been thoroughly evaluated and meet rigorous ethical and scientific standards. The implementation of GCP guidelines has had a profound impact on the conduct of clinical research, transforming the landscape in terms of patient safety, data integrity, and overall research quality. By prioritizing the well-being of study participants and establishing robust safeguards, GCP has helped to build trust and confidence in the clinical research process. Participants can be assured that their rights and safety are protected and that their valuable contributions are being handled with the utmost care and respect. Furthermore, the emphasis on scientific rigor and data quality has significantly enhanced the reliability and credibility of clinical trial findings. Regulatory authorities, healthcare professionals, and the general public can have greater confidence in the validity of the data supporting the approval and use of new medical interventions. Adherence to GCP guidelines is a collaborative effort that requires cooperation and knowledge sharing among all stakeholders involved in clinical research. Sponsors, investigators, ethics committees, regulatory authorities, and CROs must work together seamlessly fostering open communication and a shared commitment to upholding the principles of GCP. This collaborative approach extends beyond the boundaries of individual clinical trials. Professional organizations, academic institutions, and industry associations play a crucial role in facilitating the exchange of best practices, providing training and educational resources, and promoting continuous learning and improvement. At the core of GCP lies a profound ethical imperative the recognition that human dignity and autonomy must be respected and protected in the pursuit of scientific knowledge. Clinical research involves human participants who voluntarily contribute their time, effort, and, in some cases, accept certain risks for the greater good of advancing medical understanding. 
GCP guidelines serve as a bulwark against the potential exploitation or mistreatment of these individuals, ensuring that their rights, well-being, and personal autonomy are upheld throughout the research process. By adhering to these ethical principles, clinical research not only generates valuable scientific data, but also upholds the fundamental values of respect, justice, and beneficence. Compliance with GCP guidelines is not a one-time endeavor, but rather an ongoing commitment to continuous learning and professional development. Clinical research professionals, including investigators, study coordinators, and research staff, are required to undergo comprehensive GCP training to ensure they possess the necessary knowledge and skills to conduct clinical trials in accordance with these standards. GCP training programs cover a wide range of topics, including ethical principles, regulatory requirements, protocol adherence, data management, adverse event reporting, and participant safety measures. These programs are offered by various organizations, including academic institutions, professional associations, and specialized training providers. It is essential for research professionals to stay up to date with the latest developments and revisions to GCP guidelines, as well as emerging best practices in the field. Ongoing education and training help to reinforce the importance of GCP principles and ensure that clinical research is conducted with the highest levels of integrity, quality, and ethical responsibility. If you are new in the field of clinical trials, you can start, for example, with our free online training. Introduction to Clinical Research, Investigators' Responsibilities. You will find the link in the video description. As the landscape of clinical research continues to evolve, driven by technological advancements, new therapeutic modalities, and changing regulatory environments, the importance of GCP guidelines will only continue to grow. These guidelines will need to adapt and evolve to accommodate emerging trends and challenges while remaining steadfast in their commitment to upholding the core values of patient safety, data integrity, and ethical conduct. The integration of digital technologies, such as electronic data capture systems, remote monitoring tools, and artificial intelligence-driven data analysis, will likely play a significant role in shaping the future of GCP implementation. These innovations have the potential to enhance efficiency, reduce errors, and improve the overall quality of clinical trial data. However, amidst these technological advancements, it is crucial to maintain a unwavering focus on the ethical principles that underpin GCP. The protection of human rights, the prioritization of participant well-being, and the respect for individual autonomy must remain at the forefront of clinical research endeavors. By embracing innovation while upholding these core values, the clinical research community can continue to make significant strides in advancing medical knowledge and improving human health, while ensuring that the highest standards of ethical and scientific excellence are maintained. We will take a detailed look at all 13 GCP principles in one of our future video. So for now, thank you for watching our video and we hope that you found it informative. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more content on clinical research.